All right. Okay, I'm recording. How, how, like, what sort of framing do you want? I don't mind, man. Do you want just... to actually see that you, your legs are sitting on stuff? I'll, I'll do it both. I'll go in yeah. and out every now and then. Okay, I'm filming. Crack it in. Here you go. So, my name's Steve. Um, I'm 37. I live up here in Brisbane. Um, work here at 31 Digital TV station. I do uh, workplace health and safety. Um, I got into that because about 10 years ago I was working in the mines down in South Australia. And had a bit of an accident and lost a couple of toes. So since then I teach other people how to be safe. <laughs> uh, the irony's not lost on me either, don't worry about it. So I've been a Bogan oh, pretty much my whole life. Uh, grew up in a pretty Bogan area uh, on the north side of Brizzy uh, called Redcliffe. I'm pretty proud to be a Bogan. Um, I reckon that being a Bogan's changed a bit from what it used to be. Um, 20 years ago when I was in high school, if someone called you Bogan, they were kind of having a go at you. Um, where I grew up, like Bogans were people who didn't have a lot of money. They lived in housing commission places. Their houses were kind of always trash. Their parents were sort of a bit deadbeat and there were like rusted cars in the front yard and that. And I reckon that's changed a bit now. Like I know a lot of my Bogan mates who grew up in that environment, um, they know and they decided that that's not the way they wanted to be. So when they got out of school, we all went and we got trades and uh, a lot of my mates are sort of pretty cashed up now and they've got nice houses and flash cars but they're still bogans because I reckon if you're a bogan you're always a bogan you know and being a bogan is just about loving to have a beer and wearing a flanny and listening to good music like you know Guns N' Roses and ACDC and the Angels and all that sort of stuff and I think I think bogans are basically just no bullshit people mate like what you see is pretty much what you get um, we don't put on airs and graces. We don't sort of mess around pretending to be things we're not. Um, rather than going out to a big flash restaurant and spending hundreds of dollars, you know, we'd much rather just throw some steaks on the barbie with a few good mates, listen to some good tunes, drink some beers, and have a good time. And I don't sort of reckon there's anything wrong with that. Um, I got a missus. Uh, we're not married or nothing, but uh, my missus, she's a bogan. She's, um, she's probably a bigger bogan than me. Uh, we're a pretty typical Bogan couple, like we've got matching flannos, <laughs> we've even got matching Holdens. Uh, she's got a VX Commodore and I've got a, a VX Calais with a supercharged V6 in it. Uh, we like going camping and that's where the flannos come in handy mate, you know, when you're out camping, flannos are just, they're so versatile, you can roll the sleeves down and do them up to keep warm, you can roll the sleeves up and undo them when it's, you know, a bit hotter. Uh, me and my missus once managed to put out a serious scrub fire with our flannos, like we were just sort of sitting around camping and through absolutely no fault of our own. Um, the fire got a bit out of control, uh, ripped off the flannies, beat out the scrub fire, rinsed the flannies off in the stream, hung them up, wearing them the next day, Bob's your uncle. And I mean, at five bucks a throw, you can buy as many of these and throw them in the cupboard as you want. Trying to remember what else I was going to say. That's probably about it, to tell you the truth. How long was that? I don't have a time frame. I've got a cue, but it was only a couple of minutes, wasn't it?